In an alternate China, a panda named Po wakes up from a dream where he heroically fights alongside the Furious Five, Tigris, Monkey, Mantis, Viper, and Crane. Po idolizes these warriors, trained in Kung Fu. In reality, Po is the son of a goose named Mr. Ping and works in the family noodle shop. Despite being clumsy and portly, Po is a Kung Fu fanatic with the hope of becoming a warrior himself. However, his father is proud of their noodle folk heritage and envisions Po running the restaurant one day, unaware of his son's true aspirations. In the Jade Palace, Master Shifu, the master of the Furious Five, receives a premonition from Master Ugwe. Ugwe warns Shifu that his former pupil and adopted son, Tai Lung, a snow leopard imprisoned for attacking the Valley of Peace, would escape from prison and return. Shifu sends Zeng to Chorgom Prison to enhance security and prevent Tai Lung's escape. Ugwe informs Shifu that it is time to choose the legendary dragon warrior, the one worthy of receiving the power of the dragon scroll. A tournament is organized to determine which member of the Furious Five will be selected for this honor. Eager to attend the tournament, Po faces resistance from his father, who convinces him to take a noodle cart to the Jade Palace Arena. Despite a challenging climb, Po abandons the cart and makes the arduous journey up the giant staircase, exhausting himself in the process. Upon reaching the top, he discovers that the tournament has already begun and the gates close before he can enter. Determined to witness the competition, Po attempts various methods to get inside, all of which end in failure. In a final desperate move, he straps fireworks to a chair and lights them. His father, witnessing the stunt, panics. Po, expressing his love for Kung Fu, is propelled into the sky as the fireworks ignite. After soaring into the air, Po eventually falls back down into the middle of the arena, landing in front of Master Ugwe. To everyone's surprise, Ugwe indicates that the dragon warrior is the panda who has just fallen before him. After failing to convince Master Ugwe that a flabby panda couldn't be the true dragon warrior, Master Shifu confronts Po in the Jade Palace. Shifu attempts to berate and humiliate Po, even threatening him with the formidable Wuxi finger hold. Shifu later pressures Po to quit, subjecting him to the dangers of the training hall and a challenging series of matches with the Furious Five, all of whom doubt his abilities and make jokes about his incompetence. Feeling dejected after his first day of training and being scolded by Tigress, Po turns to overeating, stuffing his mouth with peaches from the peach tree of heavenly wisdom. Discovered by Master Ugwe, who empathizes with his struggles, the wise Tortoise advises Po to focus on the present situation instead of dwelling on past failures or worrying about the future. Meanwhile, Tai Lung managed to escape from his Mongolian prison, picking the lock of his acupuncture restraint. The snow leopard fought and defeated the prison guards. He confronted the messenger Goose, instructing him to relay a message to the Jade Palace. The real dragon warrior is coming home. Taking Master Ugwe's advice to heart, Po arrived early in the courtyard to practice, surprising Shifu and the Furious Five, who believed he had quit. Despite his continued struggle with the basics of Kung Fu, Po endeared himself to most of the Furious Five, excluding Tigress, with his impressive tenacity, culinary skills, and good humor. Meanwhile, Master Ugwe extracted a promise from Master Shifu that he would believe in and train Po. Ugwe then ascended to the heavens in a swirl of flower petals, passing on his guardianship of the Valley of Peace to Shifu. Learning about Tai Lung's impending arrival, Po panicked and attempted to flee from the palace. Despite Shifu's insistence that Ugwe's advice must be followed, Po had lost all confidence, and Shifu struggled to find a solution. Witnessing their argument, Tigress led the Furious Five in an attempt to confront Tai Lung on their own. The next morning, Shifu discovered that Po displayed incredible agility when motivated by food. Recognizing an opportunity, Shifu took Po for solitary training in the mountains. By promising food as a reward for learning his lessons well, Shifu trained Po into a skilled and capable warrior. Tigris and the other members of the Furious Five confronted Tai Lung on a long rope bridge over a misty canyon. Engaging in battle, the Five initially appeared to have the upper hand, but Tai Lung ultimately defeated them with nerve attacks. Crane, the only one still capable of moving, flew back to the Jade Palace carrying the paralyzed members of the Five. Believing that Po was now ready to face Tai Lung, Shifu entrusted him with the Dragon Scroll. To everyone's surprise, the scroll opened to reveal nothing but a blank, golden reflective surface. Devastated by the apparent worthlessness of the Dragon Scroll, Po and the Furious Five received orders from Shifu to evacuate the valley while he prepared to confront Tai Lung, knowing it might lead to his death. During the evacuation, Po encountered his father, who was busy preparing to escape and shared ideas for a new noodle shop. 
Poe, however, felt a sense of despair as his dream seemed shattered. Trying to console him, Mr. Ping revealed that the secret ingredient of his famous soup was nothing except the power of conviction. Inspired by his father's words, Poe realized that this idea applied to himself and his own destiny. He decided to face Tai Lung and return to the palace. At the palace, Tai Lung confronted Shifu and demanded the Dragon Scroll. During their intense confrontation, Tai Lung expressed his anger at being rejected as the Dragon Warrior and blamed Shifu for not advocating for him at the crucial moment. After a fierce battle where Shifu was beaten, he eventually offered an apology to Tai Lung for the mistakes he had made, admitting that he failed to see what he had turned Tai Lung into. When Shifu refused to hand over the scroll, Tai Lung attacked and nearly killed him. Tai Lung declared that he didn't want an apology. He wanted his scroll. Just as Tai Lung was about to strike a fatal blow, an exhausted Po arrived, boldly proclaiming himself as the Dragon Warrior. Taken aback by the idea that the big fat panda was the Dragon Warrior, Tai Lung initially chuckled, but swiftly attacked Po when he pulled out the Dragon Scroll. The two engaged in a fierce battle over possession of the scroll, and to everyone's surprise, Po proved himself to be an equal match for Tai Lung. The frustrated struggle extended from the palace steps into a village in the valley. Tai Lung gained the upper hand, pummeling Po to the ground. When he finally opened the scroll, he was met with confusion as he couldn't comprehend its symbolic meaning. Po offered an explanation. There is no secret ingredient. It's just you. Enraged, Tai Lung attacked again, but Po's body mass rendered Tai Lung's nerve attacks useless, only managing to tickle him. Po responded with devastating counterattacks and eventually captured and exhausted Tai Lung with the Wuxi finger hold, with the bending of his pinky and the word skadoosh, creating a golden, misty shockwave throughout the valley and defeating the formidable Snow Leopard. The Furious Five and the Valley citizens returned to the village, discovering Poe, dazed but victorious.